A very blessed, um, what day is today? A very blessed Tuesday morning to you. Today is Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. And today I'm going to be dropping some seeds. And so the first thing I did was take my old seed starter tray and I just washed it with some really hot soapy water to sterilize it. And after washing it, I'm going to be using these peed, um, Jiffy Peat palettes, and I found these to be a really great product. They were about three or four dollars at the big box store, the orange one. And there's 36 in here, and I have um, two of these boxes will fill up this because it's 72, but I'm only gonna use just a few of these for today because we're already so late in the season, and I'm not gonna, I don't even have space to grow a lot of things, but that's not gonna stop me because I don't know, I just have a desire to plant more just in case anything fails. So as you can see, they come as these tiny little round discs. And what I do, I just place them in there and then I take the Keurig with really hot water and I pour over all of them and then wait for them to puff up and then I wait for them to cool down. And the reason that I use the boiling hot water is just to make sure that everything's sterile just in case somehow there's some fungus or whatever inside of the pellet itself. I don't want to have to deal with any of that, so that's just going to take care of anything that might be there. So I've placed exactly half of the box, which is 18 pellets in here. And now I'm going to go get the hot water and then we can watch them swell up. I think I'm gonna need one more cup. Some of these is already getting bigger. And if you're wondering why there's aluminum foil in this box, it's just to reflect the sunlight from the window during the day and the light from the, what do you call it? The grow lamp at night. I can watch how big these things are getting. And they puff up pretty quick. So the idea for this aluminum foil was because on Lady Les channel, you can see in her newest video too, in the cacao video, she has this lovely tent and it's like a reflective material. I wouldn't call it aluminum, I don't think it is, but it's definitely very reflective so that the light can penetrate very well. And I think I'll give these things just one more cup. And while the water is pouring, I just wanted to show you right here on top of the air fryer, I got some ginger that's starting to put some of the, um, it's starting to sprout. And then there's a turmeric up here behind the flower, but, um, it's not doing anything, so I'm probably gonna have to get a new one and just throw that one away. And I got a potato sitting back there that's... Um, it gets a little bit of heat when the air fryer is on and so it's budding already So pretty soon I'll be putting that outside too So we're just gonna add one more cup to this just to make sure everything is thoroughly watered nicely And then I'm gonna let this just sit for about a half an hour or so for For it to get down to a cool enough temperature so I'm not cooking the seeds so I'm going to put this on pause and hope for the best. I hope it doesn't turn off. I'm going to also charge it while I'm waiting for this to cool down. And Lord willing, I'll be right back with you. But if not, I apologize in advance and I'll go ahead and make another video afterward. And I really hope that if it does cut off that it at least saves this one so I can upload it. But if not, I'll just upload plants and the seeds. So for now, I'm just going to go through my seed box and see what all I'm gonna pick out for today because I don't even know yet. I know I want some crookneck squash for sure but I don't know if I even have seeds for that left so um yeah I'm just gonna go through it and find out. So this is my seed tray and I was watching Appalachia's homestead with Patera but I had to turn it off so that her video wouldn't be playing in the background. But that's a really great channel. I highly recommend it. She's a no nonsense kind of person with a wonderful sense of humor, a Christian woman, a homesteader that's very full of common sense and wisdom. And she's always very encouraging. And so here I have a pack 
that my sister sent me for my birthday and it was it was from some what was it called um it was from some kind of thing about um oh well let me take a look inside and tell you it was like some kind of special doomsday package or something let me see it had a note inside of it so it's from a company called nature's edge survival seed kit there you go so basically this kit right here it has uh let me see it has lettuce broccoli cucumber onion squash carrot tomato corn peas beans bell pepper and this little instruction booklet that i took out so from this i definitely want to bring some corn out this will be my first time ever trying to grow corn and i want to see how it goes also in this box i found this paper from the strawberries that i planted outside i got some roots at walmart and they're doing pretty good so i saved this because since there's different kinds there's um i wanted to be sure that the instructions were right here i have some red bell pepper seeds inside some paper towel and ever since watching med farmer 73 who i also highly recommend i've been saving my own seeds from many things uh, you look you could see these pepper seeds right here this is from orange bell pepper he highly recommends that we save our seeds because this year there's been a huge problem if you can even find seeds to begin with because there's other people saying that seeds are being thrown away so um if you can even find seeds like this there's been problems with them from the ones from this year i have noticed for myself that there's like the quantity of um like if you compare to what they had in them last year it only has half of the weight so that's a huge problem and then a lot of people are having problems with just germination in general so it's good to save your own seeds so here i got some eggplant seeds from this month june of 2022 set them aside then i got some oh i think i want to do watermelon yeah it's probably too late in the season but i'm gonna do some sugar baby watermelons now the last time i had planted these last year it did not go great i had it in a container no it wasn't last year it was two years ago i planted it in a container outside and then we had a problem because all the food places that are around this neighborhood since everything was shut down there were like you know how like those places have rats in the dumpsters so what they did was they came to this neighborhood and an old lady that lived down the street bless her heart she used to throw bread out every morning to feed the ducks but it was actually attracting the rats and then they came and tore up everybody's garden so we had to rip everything out and like it was a total disaster and then the lady ended up getting in trouble with the city and then shortly after that bless her heart she passed away i think she was probably just living to feed these poor animals which that's a really sad thing oh yeah these so i got these on my last trip to fossil and sons garden center on 108th and cicero which i highly recommend and i'm definitely gonna do these it's not too late for squash so i had some strawberry seeds and there's um like surrounded with some red clay or something that's supposed to help them to germinate but they haven't done anything got some lemon cucumber i planted some of these before and i ended up giving them to my neighbor so we're gonna share that um got some lemon but i already have lemon balm growing outside chamomile it does take forever but hmm i'll revisit that i got mint lavender for whatever reason i can never get lavender to grow properly like i got it to barely sprout and then it died so i don't know if i'll even keep that i have some calendulas here i planted this out in the front like if you saw my video where i did the garden tour or yard tour whatever i all the, like, I had planted some of these but they haven't come up yet but the nasturtiums are coming up so that's great and the okras there's one outside that's already starting to flower but it's the candle fire one this one's a baby bubble and this is supposed to grow 
quicker than the other one, but the other one seems to be doing better for whatever reason. Got some Rutgers tomato. I still have one of those plants left, but I gave all the rest away to the ladies at church. Got collard greens. I had planted some of these, and then when they were seedlings, I put them outside. The squirrels and the chipmunks then came and tore them up. And so there's Swiss chard. I got baby boomer hybrids. I had planted a whole bunch of these, and they were doing fine. But then I had this HGTV garden so not garden soil, the um potting soil that I had got at Walmart. And every single thing that I put in there, including my sunflowers and tomatoes and everything, they turned yellow and died. I had squash in there too. So I already have two of these growing outside, plus my next door neighbor, I gave her two plants as well. So we don't need that, but butternut squash i'll pull that out as a maybe but what i really want to do is the yellow squash because if you cut it up and mix it with the zucchini when you saute that that is absolutely delicious the peas i think i might wait for that what kind of pepper is this spanish variety oh the cayenne so this was another thing that i planted inside of like they were doing well inside of these peat pellets but as soon as i put it into the cups with the other stuff it just died nothing did well i think i got some jalapenos here got some california wonder habanero i think yeah got some sweet banana pepper and i still have a few of these plants and i gave some to my neighbor as well so what we like to do when we get together in the summer days, like a lot of times we'll get together on a Saturday evening and we'll go next door and grill and then these things, what you do is you cut the top off and like put a knife, uh, one of those really thin, how do you call it, a steak knife, you put it inside, scrape out all the seeds and the stems and then you stuff it with some string cheese and then wrap it up in aluminum foil put it on the grill that is absolutely delicious i highly recommend that for anyone who hasn't tried it so i got another california wonder there oh i'm passing up the same things again so i had some leeks and unfortunately that was another one of the things that died inside of that other soil which i'll never purchase ever again got some pak choy which was another one the cabbage lettuce uh cherry tomato which was another one i'm sorry this is such a mess like i didn't even plan to show all the seeds but i didn't really want to risk waiting so long for the pellets to cool off because if i put this down i don't know if it's gonna just go off or not so there's spinach right there my mammoth sunflower i was so looking forward to that man that was such a huge disappointment well, maybe I'll make another one then. These seeds actually did germinate. These are from the Dollar Tree. When it used to be a dollar. <laughs> Green beans. I had started some of these indoors. And then I put them outside in the dirt inside of the red wagon thing. And then out of nowhere, it got too cold again. So that was a loss. But I might do more. And then I went and bought a four pack of this from the garden center. But for whatever reason, everything turned yellow and died. And someone suggested that maybe I overwatered it, probably, but you learn by making mistakes, you know, but then try and try again. Now, eggplant, I do have one outside and it's doing really well, except for one of the tomato plants is falling over on it. Poblano peppers, mm mm mm, these are scrumptious. Now, this is another one you fill it up with the right kind of cheese, you put some mozzarella in there or monster, and fry it up or grill it or whatever and that is just it oh yeah, yeah 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 i want some basil this stuff smells good now i don't really like the flavor of it all that much unless it's a sweet basil and it's dried out already but this one just to keep certain pests out of the garden it's really well and i like the way that it smells like you can mix it in with your what do you call it the spray for the countertops and yeah and these radishes i got some grown outside but they're already they're already bolted and they're finally getting pods on them so i'm excited for that i'm gonna get some extra seeds 
got some more this is another one the cherry tomato i planted it and that was another loss unfortunately man that soil was expensive too it was like nine dollars a bag and i had got three bags of them and planted all this stuff up in it everything then died that was a huge disappointment and i'll tell you what but we live we learn the dill for some reason like i could get it to germinate but for whatever reason it just doesn't stay around for me cilantro i got this out by the garage so that's doing well but actually i had planted it before and that's actually a volunteer that came up this year but i could do some succession planting because the stuff back there is already bolting but then again i could just let it bolt and drop its seeds and replant itself so it'll be fine because i don't use it all that much so right here I got a uh, heirloom variety, I think it's a Marky Mark cucumber, um, does it say, it should say, oh yeah, the market more. So I got one of these sitting out on the front porch, so I'm going to worry about that right now. Chives, I can never get them to work for whatever reason when I plant them from seed. So I just went out and bought some at Fossil and Sons Garden Center. Parsley, oh, that's what's growing in the flower pot in front. So I planted some parsley and then forgot about it. And then I was wondering because I planted some, I planted a daisy in the front and put some chives in that pot, but there was already something growing in there from before and I didn't even remember what it was. Asparagus, I planted for, but they were really leggy. Tomatillo, oh, the toma tomato, pera amarilla, that's called. Now I did plant one of these, but the same thing with that soil, it just was a huge disappointment. Like I lost so very many plants and this one was another one that I planted out and then the frost, not even a frost, like a heavy snow actually fell on top of that. So I'll forget it. Hungarian yellow wax, I lost that in that bad soil as well, as, as well as these purple tomatillos that I wanted to try. But I'm not so disappointed about this one because I never had purple before. And then the videos that I watch, they say that this one doesn't produce as much as the green one, so it's not really a loss. Like, the only reason I bought that is just I wanted to try something new. Now, this one right here, the Burpee Organa Green Tomatillo, that one is growing really nice. I got quite a few of them, and I gave one to my neighbor as well. So they're going to cross pollen. You know, I gave one to both of my neighbors on both sides of this house, so the bees will cross pollinate them, and... The Roma tomatoes, I made some for my neighbor. Broccoli, I haven't planted that yet. Beets, oh yes, I love beets. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pull that out. Let's see, yeah, I got some more tomatillo, the purple ones, more of this yellow. Oh, guess what, guys? Like the orange tomato thing that I planted, the sun sweet. I finally got one off today, but I, I didn't even think to record it. All I did was take it right off the planter and eat it, and it was so delicious. It was the first harvest of the season. I could try this white spine cucumber, but I'll think about that one, because I'm not sure. Cabbage. Oops. More of these yellow tomatoes. Jalapenos. We have those growing already, and they're doing well. Carrots. I did plant some carrots. I don't think they're even coming up though. I put them inside that red wagon and just sprinkled seeds. And at first it looked like something was coming up, but then I don't know what's going on. And so there's a bunch of kale and Swiss chard in here. Da -da 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 -da. Lettuce. It's too hot right now for lettuce, so I'm going to save these for the fall. What am I talking about right here? Onion too. It started out well when I planted onions, but same thing happened. So I just went and picked up some more that were already made. Impatience. For some reason, they never work for me. Petunias. I'm sorry, like these are all like inside of a Ziploc bag. Bachelor button, bachelor button. Uh, what kind of cucumber? National pickling cucumber. Uh, market. Oh no, Munter. What we have here? Peppermint. Already got that. 
No, I don't, as a matter of fact. But I have a spearmint that's growing, not peppermint. And I actually like peppermint more than I do spearmint. So, some of these carrots I planted too, and I haven't seen anything yet. There's more okra. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love me some okra. And especially those flowers that they produce, they're so beautiful. And once it starts putting out that first flower, it starts producing a whole lot of fruit. So this is a Clemson Spineless variety. Um, sweet banana pepper, I got more of that. This is a new one to us. I never saw this one before, but I was in the Dollar General about a month ago. And I found this, but I don't know if I want to plant it. I have no idea what it tastes like or if it's even edible to begin with. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that and see like how big the plants get and all that. Now thyme is a definite garden staple. So I'm going to pull that one out. And then there's some beans. Purple coneflower. I don't know if my seeds are doing anything, but I did go and get three of these from the garden center. And then Shasta daisies. I picked that up at the garden center as well. And... I did get some of these to sprout and I put them outside, but I don't remember exactly where, so we'll see. And then these are another one that it just happened to fall prey to the snowstorm. Then I got some more radishes, bachelor button. Now this right here, I planted it inside those tiny little clay pots and it never came up. Not a single one. More radishes, calendulas is another thing I planted right next to the daisy along with the, what do you call it, oh my goodness, the cosmos, I planted calendulas and cosmos in that container, and then there's some more beets right here, more bachelor button, here's what I'm looking for, there we go, summer squash, okay, and since I'm already here, I'll just go ahead and show you what else I got. Some turnips, beets, and last but not least, some more beans. So that's it for now. So what I picked out, summer squash, the early yellow crook neck. So I can saute that with the zucchini. And then I got some thyme, which is definitely a staple. It makes everything taste better. Some beets. I'm going to do a, a couple of these sunflowers, hopefully they'll do better this time. Some little pumpkins just for fun. And some watermelons. Um, this I'll hold on to. And so the last thing I'm going to plant is some basil. Alright, so let me just get everything like set up and then I'll be right back. I'm sorry for this mess on the table. Like I went to the grocery store earlier. I found some black eyed peas and some pink Himalayan salt on sale. And then my son was eating these animal crackers from um, Costco. Those are delicious too, so I couldn't resist. And I was eating some Ritz crackers with some cheese in a can. And I got my vitamins right there. I got a cup of hot tea right there. And so I'll be right back. I forgot to add the corn. I'm gonna have to do like at least six of these because they say you have to have them in groups of three in order for them to pollinate each other. And apparently this corn is red. So it's the golden bantam. Never heard of that, but we'll see. And it came out of this pack right here that my sister sent me for my birthday. That was so kind of her. Um, Man, Big Sis, if you ever watch this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate all that you've done. Like, wow. Like, you know me so well that you want seeds. Like, that is something wonderful. Oh, let me show you something else that someone got me recently. Okay, so the other day I was on Time to Grow's channel, and she had a live stream on. And then at the end of it, they were asking some trivia questions. So it was about what was going on, what we learned in the video, and I answered the question correctly uh, as the first one. So she sent me this, uh, the complete guide to home canning, and I'm just so humbled by this gift. I'm so very thankful. It's the first time I've ever won anything. And like, I asked 
everyone to check out her channel too if you haven't already it's time t-h-y-m-e and the number two and then the word grow so check her out because like all of us are getting together there's this thing called the soil family if you're not familiar we're getting together online and uh, especially on black's tropical homestead check out their channel as well and we're all learning about canning and they have these guests that come on every week to do a series and we're learning from they're actually experts who have been doing this for such a long time and we're all learning things together and one of the very main things that they really emphasize is to use an updated recipe book and i had made some jam the other day well not the other day it was back in like at the very beginning of April, I had made some jam, but the book that I was using was from the library, so it wasn't necessarily up to date. So there were, um, time to grow, she was so very kind. She answered a question for me. The things that she didn't know, she sent it on to someone else who was more experienced to get the answer for me. So I just want to say a big, huge thank you, a big shout out to you for that. And I ask everyone to check out our channel. I'm so thankful. I cannot get I cannot wait to get ready. And this right here is what I want to do the most. I want to can a lot of tomatoes because these times that we're going through right now are very uncertain when it comes to food and especially with these rising prices and inflation. So that's why we have so many tomato plants outside between me and my neighbors. So we just gotta stock up to be able to make it through the winter until the next season and hopefully we'll even have more on stock just in case the next season fails so we'll see how it goes okay so what I'm gonna do now is just use this wooden popsicle stick that you could you could find them at places like Michael's Hobby Lobby's and there's some at the Dollar Tree too in the craft section but I don't know if they're exactly food grade so, if you're looking for things to be completely sterile, I'd go with the pastry section and the candy making section at the hobby stores. And this is on my stick. There we go. So I just want to make some extra, like not too deep, but I want to make sure that I have at least enough space to get the seed fully in there and covered well. I might as well just go ahead and poke holes in the recipe too. Now they already come with a little bit of a hole in the middle because that's just the way that they designed them. But I want to make sure that it's going to be big enough. Some of them I want to plant extra, like more than one seed in, just in case they don't come up. You know what, I actually should do that with all of them. Even with the corn. Even though I know that gets to be a big plant, I don't see any problem right now whatsoever with planting two at a time inside each one of these, just in case. And we'll see how it goes. So these right here are all of the varieties that came inside of this Victory Vegetable Garden seed kit. And I've already picked out 12. I got them here in my hand from the Golden Bantam. Plus it has Sugar Daddy P, which seems kind of strange to me because I know Sugar Daddy's to be this watermelon right here. Oh, never mind, it's Sugar Baby. Okay. Okay, I was wrong. So, Carrot Imperator 58, um, Cucumber National Pickling. I have another one of these inside the box. There's Waltham 29 Broccoli, Bush Bean, Tomato Acre 55. California Wonder, some black seeded Simpson lettuce, and some yellow sweet Spanish onion. Ooh. So over here we're just going to drop two of these in each cell and hope for the best. Oops. I picked that one up when I got use of both of my hands. Uh, darn, I just dropped another one. I actually need to get a paper towel or something and blot out the excess water that's inside of here. Oops. My bad. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. Well, let me pick that up right now. So there we go. So we got, we got two of these in six cells. So I should 
hopefully have 12 corn plants after this but we'll see how that goes so i'll keep you guys updated with the progress as much as i can next up is the sugar baby watermelon seed and i've already got six seeds in my hands so i'm gonna fill three of the cells with it one two oops i'll pick that up in a moment Lord, oops oh man you could tell i'm new to content creating i used to have another channel called mulata crafts back in the days and i was doing arts and crafts on there but i actually had a little bit of a tripod for a short period of time towards the end of my crafting and these things are slippery when they are wet so just a heads up in case anyone else is planning to do the same thing and if anybody's actually watching this video i appreciate you staying all this time to hang out with me and to get it done and the seed is just swimming around in here oh my well I'm gonna let that one sit for a minute. Let me get to the rest of them. Next up, we're doing the mammoth sunflower, mammoth Russian sunflower. Oh, and I just dropped another one. Well, that's all right. Should have just oh man, I just dropped another one. Okay, got those in. This one right here. Sorry for the shaking camera, you guys. I know that's a really annoying thing to watch. So if anyone's still here, I really appreciate you. I really, really do. And to my two subscribers, whoever you may be, feel free to leave a comment anytime. Like, I would love to conversate with you guys, chat with you guys. Like, I just want to say thank you for being here. So next up, we have these Jack P. Little Heirloom Pumpkin Seeds. And I'm only going to do two cells of these because... I cannot have a lot of pumpkins just growing all over the place. I really do not have space for that. So we're going to go ahead and drop... Oops, I just dropped another one in the water. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I'm going to drop one and two right there. And... Okay, I got that in there. Okay, I only have four cells left, and this plant in particular gets really big, so I'm only going to do one cell of the summer squash, one cell of thyme, one cell of beets, and one cell of basil. Squash is going in. Thyme seeds are going in. Hopefully I don't drop any of these in the water because there's no getting those back. I really hope that they fell inside of there, but I can't even see them because they're so tiny and dark. Early Wonder Tall Top Beats going in. Oh, there's still one. There we go. Gonna drop some right here. Go. Whatever. Okay, so since I was digging a beet seed out and I look closely, you can see I dropped all of those thyme seeds into the water. Oh, wow, I don't know what I'm going to do to get those out, but hopefully I'll get some into the cell and I'll keep you guys updated if I was able to do it or not. And yeah, and let me just do one more cell. Um, what was I going to put there? Hold on. Basil. I'm going to put basil in this one right here. These are another very tiny seed, but they're a little bit bigger than the other ones. And so, yeah, most of them seem to have fallen in there and I can actually see them, so that's a good thing. And you guys, I wanted to bring something to your attention. When it comes to kitchen things like coriander seeds or other items, you can get them inside of the grocery store in big packs like this for about the same price that you would get for a little seed packet at the garden center so if you can find these definitely pick them up this is also known as cilantro when it grows and it's coriander after it produces um after it's finished growing they call it coriander i guess okay see here like the same thing cilantro Seeds, you could get it for 99 cents. You just gotta look in the grocery store inside of their spice section. 
you could get things like fennel seeds these are like 2.75 ounces it's a big thing full of them and these things they taste so delicious in tea you can get caraway seeds for those of you that like to make uh, sauerkraut this ingredient is a must and for rye bread as well things like black peppercorns you could plant these I had some mustard seed, I don't know what happened to it, but I got some sesame seeds, celery seeds. So you guys, like, totally go ahead and raid your spice cabinets and see what all kind of seeds you can get. Even things like this that I picked up today, this big bag of black eyed peas. Probably each plant will give you just this many, and look how many plants you can get inside of one bag. So things like that, beans, legumes spices guys go ahead look through your cabinets through your spice section at the store don't be afraid to go down the ethnic aisles like the the different um different ethnic aisles like things that you wouldn't normally search for and maybe even some of your tea bags might have seeds inside of them because i know fennel seeds are inside of there and i think chamomile might as well so even simple things like that, look around your kitchen, find as many seeds as you can, and don't be afraid to plant them, experiment, see how it goes, post videos, and show the world what you can do with grocery store gardening. So that's it for now, you guys. I want to say thank you so much. I'm going to cover up these seeds with the dirt in a little while, but, well, not a little while, like as soon as I get done turning this off, I'm going to get that done taken care of. I'm going to put the plastic over the top so the moisture can stay in after I get rid of all the excess moisture and pick up the seeds that fell somehow I'm gonna pick them up maybe on a paper towel I'll catch them and then I could just shove them in we'll see but thank you so much for being here if you stayed to the end if you like it feel free to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new I really appreciate you staying around feel free to comment share whatever you'd like to do and just drop in and say hi once in a while like i'd love to know who's watching the videos i love to conversate with you like i said earlier oh let me show you one more thing so right here i got a sweet potato and then all of these slips came off of that in the last week and i just set them in a jar of water well not a jar a glass of water and they're putting on roots and then I got a pineapple growing here, a pineapple growing there. They're not growing yet, but I put them in glass of water so that they could put their roots out. And pretty soon, pretty soon, Lord willing, we'll be having some pineapples growing here. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for staying along. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.